Hello, in this video, I will show you how to create a subscription rule in the Seal Subscriptions app, which will charge your customers on a specific day of the month or of the week. This is a great functionality, which a lot of merchants use, and I'm sure that you will also like it. The most common use of this functionality is when merchants prefer to send out shipments on a specific day of the month, when they run a magazine subscription or anything similar. After you open the app, head over to the subscription rules. Now let's start configuring our subscription rule by clicking on the create rule button. We will select the auto charging option. In this video, I won't explain what each field in the subscription rule does, as you can see this in one of my other videos. You can find the link to the video where I explain how to create a simple subscription rule in the video description. I will configure the subscription rule a bit faster, but we'll stop at the step where you can configure the day when you want to charge your customers. OK, so now we are at the important bit. As you can see, I have configured the subscription rule to charge my customers each month. And I can now select the day of the month when I want to charge my customers. I will select the 15th day of the month here. This is when I want to charge my customers. Now, one thing to know is that if you set the delivery interval type to month, then you will be able to select day of the month here. But if you select it to week, then you'll be able to select the day of the week. Let's try this out. First, I will change the delivery interval type to week. And now if I click here, I am able to select the day of the week when I want to charge my customers. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I will revert this back to the monthly subscription and my previous configuration. OK, so one more thing that you might want to modify is the number of cutoff days. Bear with me as I explain this. It might sound a bit complex at first, but it is actually really simple. The number of cutoff days sets the period before the desired charge date when you want to ignore new subscriptions. If I would have the number of cutoff days set to zero, and a customer would place an initial subscription order in my shop on the 14th of the month, then the system would schedule the next charge on 15th of the same month. This means that the customer would pay for the order on the 14th of the month and then will get charged again on the 15th of the month, which is the next day. In most cases, you don't want to do this. And this is when the cutoff days comes to the rescue. If I set the number of cutoff days to five, Then if a customer places an initial subscription order on the 14th of the month, they won't get charged again this month. The next charge will be scheduled for the 15th of the next month. And this is what you probably want. Setting this to five days will create the so-called buffer period between 10th and 15th of the month. Any subscription placed in this buffer period or after it will get the next charge scheduled in the next month. In my case, I will set this number to 15, which means that the customer won't get charged twice in the same month. I could even set this buffer period to a greater value than 15, which would expand the buffer period to the month before. Now, Another important thing to know here is that when the customer places the initial subscription order in your shop, 
they will pay for the initial order immediately, no matter which value you select for the day on which the customer should get charged. This functionality won't defer the initial payment. It can only help you to control how the subscription renewals will get scheduled. Okay, and just like in the other videos, I will also give my customers a bit of an incentive to start a subscription by giving them a discount. I will give them a 10% discount when they start a subscription. Okay, it is saved and a little black box appeared at the bottom of my screen to show that it had saved and you'll see that in the app when you use it. Now we have configured a subscription rule which is set to charge my customers on the 15th of each month. To show you how this works, I have placed a test subscription order in my shop and we will now take a look at its billing schedule. To see subscriptions in my shop, I will click on the subscriptions button. And here are my subscriptions. I only have one subscription in my demo store, but you will have all of your subscriptions listed here, and I hope there's plenty of them. Please note that all of the personal information you see in this video is made up. It is not real, including the shipping address and the credit card information. None of it's real as we wouldn't be able to show you a real customer's information. So it's all just dummy information for this video. Now let's click on the subscription to see more about it. Here we can see all the details of the subscription, including when the initial order was placed in my shop. This order was placed on the 12th of the month and we can see that the subscription is set to schedule renewals on the 15th of the month with 15 cutoff days. And let's check the billing schedule. I can see the next charge is scheduled for the 15th of the next month, which is correct. The order was placed on the 12th of the month. I set the app to charge on 15th of the month with 15 cutoff days. Yes, this is all correct. If I would set the number of cutoff days to zero, then this charge would be scheduled on the 15th of December, which would be just three days after customer paid for the initial order. Let's recap. In this video, you learned how to configure a subscription rule, which will schedule the subscription renewals on a specific day of the month or week. You also learned how to set the number of cutoff days and how to validate that the billing attempts are scheduled according to your configuration. Now open the Seal subscription app and create a subscription rule in your shop where you set the app to charge the customer on a specific day of the month. Have a great day.